Yeah. Next time, put this line a little bit longer because it's not exactly the three quarters. I completely agree with that. Okay, sir. <laughs> You know what you could also do is to reduce the font size of your handwriting. Because <laughs> I'm sure people like Candy would not uh, did, uh, complain about the line. I just complained. <laughs> <laughs> because she's always economical about this space. Oh. <laughs> because I don't delete everything and rewrite it every single time. Because I'm Smart. Oh, okay. Because I'm smarter than you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow, I'm just checking. I'm just trying to steal your answers. You got a problem with that? Hello. Stop. Are you and you too? What are you doing? Turning is x to the power of five, but I have four turning points. Ah, how about you make it like instead of just x to the power of five? It is a trinomial, right? Make it like more. Add all the other terms. Like power five, power four, power three, two, one, and C. But usually, you should have five roots, but maybe not all the five roots are real numbers. So just investigate. Hmm, good. You want to like make a general conclusion, right? Ah, I like that. But some of them will not have all the, but it should definitely have more than uh, one turning point. Definitely. It only has how many? Two? Yeah, it depends on the equation. Some we have more, but definitely more than one. Uh, include the X term, let's see. But it should definitely have more than one. That's the point. From, I, from quadratic and above, you have more than one. So depending on the equation, you might have one, you might have two, you might have, you might have two, you might have three, and things like that. DYDX. That's the idea of the investigation. So the first thing is will be what? No, what is if, if I give you y equals whatever? Find the YDX, then what do you do with that? When it is zero and you solve the To get x, what does that x represent? The x coordinate. The x coordinate. Turning point. And if it's maximum, then y should always be positive. Maybe not. Because it, you could have like minus 5 and minus 100. So your maximum could be below the x axis. But when you have two of those, there's a way you can check. If it is a quadratic, we have talked about it before. If it's a quadratic, how do you know if it is maximum or minimum? Anson, do you remember? If it's negative, it's minimum. Exactly. 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 But if it is not quadratic, you are sure that you have at least two turning points. Then your coordinates could tell you which one is maximum. But it's the way we do it in higher level. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing that maybe in your IB class, but you know, I'll just tell you. If you find your second derivative, and your second derivative is positive, 
then you have a minimum. Because write y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Write it down. ax squared plus bx plus c. Write it somewhere on a rough paper. Differentiate it twice. Tell me what you get. Why, uh, differentiate it twice means you find the derivative of the, of the derivative. Y equals ax squared plus, the quadratic function. Y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So differentiate dy dx. What do you get? 2a mm -hmm. x mm -hmm. plus b. Yeah, now differentiate again. We call that second derivative. So d is 2y dx squared. You write it like d squared y. Like d squared y. D squared y, then dx squared. X squared. That's second derivative. Yes. Is equal to. Don't worry about that now. You'll learn that later. So, what do you get when you differentiate that 2ax plus b now? It means you differentiate this again with respect to x. So, that's just 2a, right? So, you see, if your a happens to be negative from here, what is this? Is it positive or negative? If your A is positive, what will it be? So this is the test for maximum or minimum. So if your, first deri so if your second derivative is negative, then it is a maximum. If your second derivative is positive, then it is minimum. This is the test you will learn in calculus later. Yeah. Mm, yeah, you are we could do that because it's, con it's a transcendental number. Because I just don't want to lie. Lose on, yeah. That's smart. Very smart. I know. <laughs> okay, are we done? Come on, guys.